The process is called electropolishing. But while stainless steel is aesthetically pleasing, it's also corrosion resistant. Making it that way is a process called passivation. Passivation is the definition of removing impurities and making the stainless steel clean, like sterile. However, sterile is defined and only temporary, like a Band-Aid, is sterile until you unwrap the package. Passivation is defined as permanently sterile. Although just 21 years old, Dustin Kalina owns one of the largest electropolishing companies in the Southeast United States, Albright Electropolishing. By passivating stainless steel, Albright provides an essential tool for any industry that demands sterilization, even the tattoo industry. Uh, right here we have tattoo tips. It looks dull right now because it's been machined. Electropolishing will make it shiny and clean. Electropolishing tips for tattoo guns starts with carefully placing them on a rack of razor sharp spikes. So we call this a ninja tree and as you can see we just kind of pinch these together and put smaller parts on here. These are obviously pretty sharp. If you make any sudden movements and you're not aware that it's there, it can hurt you pretty bad. Although not as dangerous as working around a 900 gallon tank of concentrated acid, racking tattoo tips is a close second. We'll get going pretty fast and next thing you know you turn around and you got your elbow stuck to one of these. After the tattoo tips are placed on the ninja tree, operators begin the up and down procession of electropolishing. The first step is what we call our diox cleaner tank. Diox cleaner is used to remove the organics from the part. Oils, uh, grease, weld discoloration. Once it's out of that diox cleaner, it goes into our electro polishing bath. Stored inside a plastic lined 900 gallon tank is a mixture of sulfuric and phosphoric acid. If you fell into it, it would burn you severely but it's the key ingredient behind Albright's electropolishing prowess. The viscosity is almost the same as milk, but it's actually green. So our rule is if it's green, don't touch it. Now to demonstrate the concentration of this acid, what I'm gonna do now is pour in a base and show you how violently it reacts. That's some strong in the late 70s and early 80s when video games came out, people became so creative, they would go and drill holes through their quarters, tie a little bit of fishing line in there, put it in until it hit the micro switch, pull it back out, get their quarter, get a free game.